Hey guys, what's up? So, sitting it's Saturday, it's raining outside in Southern California. Um, so I'm working inside the house this weekend. So I decided to get a couple things done. Uh, I got this cat cable a couple days ago. It's for uh, <clears throat> an ICOM. I got it on Amazon. I'll give you a link for that. But well, I guess what, what I'm trying to do, I accomplish is get, to get my ICOM 736 to work with my computer via cat control. So uh, breed control, cat control, whatever you want to call it. But so I can actually control my radio from HDS, HDSDR. So um, yeah, I mean, I'll go back. I, there's not a lot of good information on, on the internet about this. You know, like I can't find specific information. I'm, I'm trying to figure out to see if I can get the waveform working without a pan adapter. So I don't know if this cable can do it or not, or if I need to send like an extra uh, extra cable down there. So I do actually have a, a line in input that I, I can hook up to the back of my external speaker, but I don't know exactly how I'm going to get the data from my receiver to this. I mean, I know I'm going to be able to control my cat, but I don't know if this is also going to send the data, you know, the uh, microphone data, not the microphone data, but the antenna data, so I can actually see the waveforms. So, like I said, I'm still pretty new to ham radio, so if I'm not getting the terminology right, yeah, don't make fun of me. So, um, all right, so I got this control here, and let's take a look at it. I'm pro it's probably most likely going to be a prolific, but there's some sort of like circuitry in there. I mean, this is basically a USB to serial uh, adapter. And uh, let's plug this in and see what happens. It did come with a driver disk, but um, I'm sorry, I have a cold right now too, so bear with me. I'm going to plug this into my little USB hub right here. And what's up? So, um, I don't know if you can see this in the control panel. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm looking for um, this. Should, if it was corrected, uh, detected correctly, should be in my one of my com, com ports here. <coughs> All right, so I do actually have a couple other com ports connected right now. I should probably disable those just to. I have a couple of other programming cables. Okay, so let me disable some other ones so I know specifically what this one is. All right, so this one is COM6. All right, so maybe I'll grab my video camera, and that way you can see my radio, where I'm going to plug it into it. So there's actually a, a cat, or it's called CW, a manual. It's called the uh, COM manual. It's called... Uh, Sorry. <coughs> kind of jacked. 50, it's called the remote port. 56, it's called the CI5 remote control jack. <coughs> That's where I'm supposed to put it. So, all right, let me uh, do that real quick. Um, actually, maybe, I mean, that way I'll have to turn the camera around, see what's up here. Oh, I'll do that. I'm sorry, guys. Delay of game. Delay of game here. All right, let's go. All right, guys. Not sure if you can see that, but that is the back of my radio. And uh, this is my little uh, 2.5 millimeter, or 3.5 millimeter headphone jack here. And it's going to go into the remote port right there. Hopefully, I get some light right there. Is it where it says remote? I'm going to flip a rack around. And by the way, that antenna switch actually works good. So I did that in the last video, I took the radio apart and fixed the antenna switch. Um, but yeah, so far so good, we're working good. So now I want to see if I can get some computer control with this thing. So, all right, I'll be back, uh, go back to the computer. I just wanted to show you kind of like uh, what you're really seeing, you know, like my four screens that I'm looking at. <laughs> so, um, all right. All right, guys, this is Ham Radio Deluxe, the free version. The last free version you could get before they uh, start charging money for it. But I actually was able to get the rig control to work, so I know the cable's working fine. So if you look at here, hopefully I can get the shot. Look at the screen here and here. It does, it is changing the frequencies. And it is working, so I can do like VFO A. Hey! Hey! I can go VFO B, so I can change that. Hey! Hey! Tennis I switch get, one. Hey! I can, hey! I can go in the dark, Tom, and I can go in the dark, Edward. 
Okay, cool. So yeah, I can I, I activate the antenna switch from back there. So everything actually is working so far. So I just want to get this to work in HDSR. HD, uh, I, can't, I can't say that. HDSDR. So, alright, so I'm going to keep on playing with this. See what's up. So yeah, this is a free program too. So, awesome. Alright guys, so I was able to get this to sync up with... Uh, uh, the Ham Radio Deluxe by hitting the options and then just basically choosing DDE to e to HDSR, HRD, Tune, um, and then yeah, it does work fine. So let me hit start with this. So you can see that the uh, I'm obviously changing, my things are changing as I'm doing my, really my mouse finger right now. You know, you can see this changing. That's pretty cool. I don't have to go down there and twist my finger, I can just use my mouse and quickly get scan, so that's cool. But I'm not getting any data yet on this on this waterfall. At least I don't think. Let's see, I know there's a beacon over here on um, uh, 10 meter. You know, this is uh, it is what is it? It's um actually my antenna too is better. That's weird, it's not synced up here. I'll be back. I gotta find it. I definitely have a sync up, though. Kind of synced up. So, all right. Keep on playing with it. All right, guys. So I'm back here, and there's a product called OmniRig, and it's actually a com component, but it's a it's a go between the, the, a radio interface and like the software interface. So with HDS, HD SDR, I use this program here called OmniRig. Um, like I said, I've only been messing with this for a couple days, so I'm just kind of reading stuff and trying to figure it out. So, But it does support my radio, or at least very uh, similar to it. The IC738 is basically the, the same as the IC736. It just mine actually has a built-in power supply, and the other one didn't. So, All right, so I've already actually downloaded OmniRig and installed it. And uh, you basically just install the software, and it's pretty basic to configure. So I don't know if it's in here or not, but Omni Rig, and then you can just do Omni Rig and brings up in your COM port settings. I already have my radio selected. So I was reading a different, I was watching a different video, and some guy had changed the RTS to to low to make it to work right. So, but I'm just going to do the default settings and see if that works, and see what happens here. So, uh, all right, let's try this. Um, He's not faster. He's not faster. All right, guys. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but I was able to get it to go with just the Omni Rig and not you know, with the HRD interface. So let me show you this uh, real quick and stop it. So for my radio, uh, what worked is um, let me show you this real quick. So, uh, option, then I went down to Omni Rig, Omni Rig setup. And for me, I had to go down to a bottom rate of 12, 1200 to make it work. So these are my settings right here, and that's what actually worked for my radio. It's ICOM IC 736, 738. Um, but yeah, I'm glad I didn't have to actually use the extra piece of software having HRD or Ham Radio Deluxe running in the background to make it work. All right, so let's start this thing now. I'm actually I'm, I'm connected to a 10 meter beacon over in Long Beach. But now I need to figure out how do I get this data in the waterfall? You know, how do I get that there? Do I need to hook up a pan adapter? You know, I actually have like, like an RTL, SD, RTL dongle connected to my radio somehow. It would be either antenna or like I need to solder like an IF port or, you know, or an IF or IC port or something like that. I can solder something on my motherboard somewhere and 
create like an SMA connector on the back of it and put it in there, or how do I make this waterfall pick up this my tones? How do I pick up my frequencies when I'm talking to people? So like I said, I mean obviously it's not like a complete rookie. This I don't really have the right terminology, but uh, I am an IT guy, so the computer I'm used to computers. So but I'm new to radios. Alright, so yeah, it works. The rate control works. It's definitely moving my stuff around, so that's no big deal. Now to get the data to that waterfall. Alright, cool. Alright guys, I think I'm getting somewhere a little bit, maybe. So, um, I'm not sure if you guys can hear that. Um, that's a beacon, 10 meter beacon, but to get this to go, I had to go to um, RF frame rate configuration. Then I had to go from the default, which is up here, down to SDRI of input and choosing Omni Rig 1. So, Turn this down. I should just stop it. You guys have any uh, ideas how I can make this thing actually work better? Let me know. I was thinking about getting one of those like uh, USB link things that actually has the audio built into it, but I don't know if I need to go the pan adapter route or just a USB link thing would work better. But I actually want to be able to sit there and, and broad or browse the spectrum and look for uh, signals without having to turn my knob, you know, on my radio. Like, I don't know if it's cable. I don't know if I'm able to even do this with this older radio because it's, I mean, this radio is 20 years old, so. But I'm actually stoked that I got this much to work, you know, with it, you know. And so right now it's all sound card. That's that's the input, not input. Um, let me try, I'll try a different, couple different channels and see if I can get someone else to come in. Be back, but yeah, if you guys have any other suggestions, let me know. I mean, um, yeah, it's pretty cool so far. I mean, it's cool that I can control my rig. Like an old rig, like a 20 year old radio with the computer. So, um, yeah, stuck with that. Because actually, uh, I, we, uh, me and my wife got a cabin. So, I'm actually going to be having a, <clears throat> I'm going to build a ham shack up in my little cabin area, you know, with the radios up there. And I'm going to be able to communicate, hopefully, back and forth with the, uh, from the beach to the mountains. So, all right, guys, let me know. I'm kind of sick, but uh, hopefully, I wasn't babbling too much. But, uh, yeah, still trying to figure it out. So, that's, that's cool. So, better, guys. Awesome.